A team comprised largely of university students from Newfoundland and Labrador will be heading back to SpaceX's prestigious Hyperloop competition after placing second in 2017. So today, they're unveiling the newly designed pod that they will be entering in that competition. Nathan Power is the project lead for Paradigm Hyperloop, and he joins us today. Good to have you with us this morning. Thank you for having me. All right, let's catch everyone up first. Uh, the Hyperloop is a proposed form of transportation in which a pod, which could be carrying freight or a passenger, travels through a sealed tube at high speeds. And at the SpaceX competitions, teams tested their pod designs on a mile-long test track. And you're unveiling the pod that you'll be taking to California with the team. So tell us about it. Yeah, exactly. So a couple years ago, we competed and we placed second internationally, which was very exciting. Uh, this year round, we've completely redesigned the pod right from the ground up. Uh, so we're very excited to unveil this pod and be competing in less than a month. And you've completely redesigned it. Uh, what were the big changes? Are you able to tell us? Yeah, for sure. So a couple of the big changes that we've made, uh, we're no longer using air-based levitation. Uh, instead, we're using an electric-propelled um, vehicle that uses a high-powered electric motor. You're creating something that doesn't exist yet, right? How much still needs to happen before Hyperloops are a reality? There's definitely still a lot of work to do in the Hyperloop realm to get it to a reality where people like you and me could hop on it and use it day to day. Uh, the technology is the exciting part for me and it's definitely getting there, but there's still a lot of work to do in terms of safety regulations. We have to build the infrastructure and we have to make sure that it's safe for people to ride on on a daily basis. Let's talk about a daily basis for people. So anybody watching right now and they're wondering, okay, well, how would this affect my life? Uh, what would you say to people about how this could change how they get from A to B? Yeah, for sure. So I like to describe Hyperloop as that mean of transportation that kind of fits in between, say, a plane and a car. So you have these awkward distances like interstate that's too long to drive, but it's almost too short for a plane ride. So a Hyperloop would be perfect for that. It's convenient to hop on, but it's high speed like a, like a plane would be. So then that way you could live in one city, but you could work in another conveniently. So like if you were to travel from Montreal to Toronto, how long would that take? I don't know the exact number off the top of my head, but the ones that have been passed around there are about 45 minutes. That's wild. Okay, so you guys are all full-time students right now. Paradigm was formed for the purpose of this competition. What's the long-term plan for this technology for you guys? Uh, the long-term plan for us is to basically bring it as far to concept as we possibly can, and that's basically the whole spirit of the competition itself. We had this crazy idea that we started with, and we said, how do we actually get this to reality? So we have all these student teams working very, very hard. They try out different technologies, and year to year, they keep progressing and pushing the bounds of the Hyperloop technology. Hey, Nathan Power, congratulations to you and your team. We're really uh, excited to chat with you this morning. Can't wait to see what happens next. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.